Hey guys, how you doing? Today we're going to be having a look at the riffs from Nero Forte by Slipknot. Now the tuning for the song is going to be drop B. Now that is drop D tuned down uh, three half steps. However, keep in mind I'm going to be showing you how to play the song in drop D exactly as it will be played in drop B since I'm sporting light gas strings on this guitar. So with that in mind guys, let's have a look at the first riff. Alright guys, now the intro riff is pretty simple, it's essentially just the same measure over and over again. So here's how it goes. Alright, that's pretty much it. Here's how it goes. We're going to be starting off pulling off uh, from the 16th fret of the 6th string to the open. Alright, we're going to do that twice. And then we're going to do uh, a total of six alternating palm mutes on the low open six string. So we have... Alright, and then after that... We're going to do the same thing we have, but now instead of 16, we're going to do 13 to open twice. And then we're going to do just two more palm mutes. So we have... And that's pretty much it. Essentially what you want to do is just repeat that over and over again. So it will go... Alright, there's going to be uh, an octave higher harmony on this. So essentially, you know, it would be just a pull off from 16 to the open on the 4th string. And you would palm it the low open 6th string and so on and so on. Alright, and that's pretty much that. Alright, now there's going to be a variation of this riff right after the bridge. Alright, so every time you play this before the bridge, every time you go back to that riff, it's exactly as it is played in the intro. However, after the bridge, it's a little bit uh, different. Here's uh, how it goes. Essentially what you want to do, the repetitive part is just going to be... What we're doing here is essentially we're replacing the palm mutes between the, the little... We're replacing them with just the open note ringing out. So after we do 16 pull off, 16 pull off to open, we're just going to let that open ring out until it's time to do the same to 13. Alright, so... Alright, so you just let that open note ring out instead of doing a little palm mute. Now, at the end of the section, you're going to hear, uh, there's going to be kind of like an ending to this section, alright? And here's how it goes. Alright, now what we're doing here is that we're going to be hitting the first fret of a six string power chord. Then we will palm mute that chord, uh, you know, we're just chugging on it for a total of seven times. So we have... And then we're going to go down to the fourth fret of a six string power chord. We're going to do four, three, and then four, all palmated power chords. And now we're going to hit the third fret, just the single note on the six string. We're going to slide to 11 and then 10 all in one pick. So we're only going to pick once and then do the rest of the slides. And then you're going to pick six on the six string and then slide back to five. So you have... Alright, and that's pretty much that regarding the variation of the intro riff, the main riff, after the bridge. Alright guys, now there's gonna be one more variation of this and it's literally the very last measure of the song. Essentially when you're gonna wrap up the song and you're playing the main riff, uh, at the very end, after you do the two pull-offs from 16, You're gonna do that little deal over there. So what we're gonna do after you do the two pull-offs, you're gonna do four palm mutes on the low open six string. You're gonna do a small rest, so you just cut everything off for a second, and then you do three palm mutes, and then you hit the low open six string, and then cut it off immediately. So we have. All right. And that's pretty much that regarding, you know, kind of how to wrap up the song, just a little variation of the main riff.
All right, guys, now let's have a look at what would be the pre verse. Here's how it's gonna go it's very, very repetitive. All right, so what we're gonna do here is essentially just a pull off from the first fret to the open, and then we're gonna do eight palm mutes on the low open six string. It's gonna be alternate picking, so. All right, now we're gonna do two more pull offs, so we'll have. And I will just follow it up, follow it up with just two more palm mutes to wrap it up. It's just gonna be that repeating over and over again. It's gonna be this part, I'm gonna play it right now, slowly, and then up to speed. This is what you're gonna repeat over and over until the vocals come in, and then we'll talk about that in a second. Alright, and that's pretty much that, that's for the pre-verse. Alright, now when the verse comes in, you know, the, the chorus starts singing, we are gonna do this again, we're gonna do this deal again, but there's gonna be a little bit of a difference now. We're only gonna do it twice before we kind of change things up. So essentially what we'd have is... Alright, that's gonna be pretty much the verse riff, you're just gonna take that and repeat it a couple of times. Now what's going on here is after you repeat the pre-verse riff twice, you're gonna go over to the 8th fret of the 6th string and you're gonna pull off the 5. And then you're gonna give 5, 4 palm mutes, and these are again all alternate picked. Now we're gonna do 2 palm mutes, uh, excuse me, 2 pull offs now. We're gonna do 2 pull offs after the 4 palm, the four palm mutes, and essentially that goes like this. Now 4 more palm mutes and 1 last pull off at the end. So all together. Alright, now we're gonna take exactly, exactly what we just did here, and we're just gonna move it up, uh, so we're essentially gonna be pulling off from 10 to 7. And we're gonna do the same deal, so that's gonna be a pull off, 4 palm mutes, 2 pull offs, uh, and then 4 palm mutes, and then 1 pull off. So essentially... So back to back, these two parts, slowly and then up to speed. And that would just take us back to the beginning of the riff where we repeat it on and on. So all together, slowly and then up to speed again. So all together, again. That's pretty much the worship. Now at some point you're gonna hear a little bit of a chordal part in between and that's essentially just going like... It's just gonna be two hits on 12 of the 6 string power chord. Now we're gonna go to the 6 fret power chord. Just one hit. I'm gonna do two hits on one and then two hits on four. So the again, so you kind of get the rhythm of it. And that's pretty much that guys, that's for the pre-verse and verse riff. Alright guys, now let's have a look at the chorus riff, and the chorus riff is essentially composed of two parts. We're gonna have the first part that repeats over and over again, and we're gonna have the ending variation at the end, alright? Here's how the repetitive part goes. So essentially what we're gonna do here, we're gonna hit the low open 6 string power chord, palm mute it, and then hit it again, like this. Then we're gonna do the same idea, exact same idea, just on the 3rd fret of a 6th string, so... 
Now, same idea, just on the 11th fret. So there's a little bit of a slide there. And now 8th fret. Now, after that, after the 8th fret, you do the, the same idea on it. You can hit it one more time, slide to 11, and then hit 11 two more times after that. So you'll have at the end. And that's pretty much part that's pretty much the part that repeats multiple times let me play it twice back to back all right that's pretty much that now the ending of this riff after you repeat that multiple times is gonna go like this All right, pretty simple. We're gonna hit the 12th fret of the six string power chord three times. It's gonna be just three strums. And then uh, the eighth fret three times. And now we're gonna hit 11. Uh, still, we're dealing mainly all in power chords here. So keep that in mind. I'm just gonna be referring to frets. Well, it's, it's all power chords. So we're gonna go to the 11th fret and then we're gonna palm, hit it and then palm it twice, so. All right, so we have. And now the same deal with the third fret. We're gonna hit it and then do two palm mutes. But now after that, after we have... We're gonna hit the third fret again, and then we're gonna slide back to one. And then you wanna hit one again, and uh, you wanna pull off to open. Now, you can just, if you don't really wanna do that, since you're dealing with power chords, you can just hit one and then open, so you'd have... Alright, but I feel like it's more... You have to pack a little bit more punch to your pull-offs though, since you're dealing with power chords here. So, you know, that ending variation once again. Alright, and that's pretty much that. Alright guys, let's have a look at the bridge section. It's pretty simple. Essentially, it's all going to be just palm muting on the low open 6 string. And uh, what we're dealing with here is uh, it's, it's a little bit tricky. So, you, kind of like the good way to kind of get around it is slow down the original recording, kind of try to sync up to it and just to keep a couple of things in mind. Alright, now here's how it goes. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty much it. At the ending, there's gonna be an ending variation. We'll get to that after we explain kind of the main, uh, the main variation of this. And here's uh, what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be doing a. This is all gonna be like I said, palms on the low open six string. We're gonna do a down stroke, and then there's gonna be some rest. Alright, then we're gonna do two more strokes, and uh, they're gonna be alternating now. And we want the first stroke to be quick, but the second one is gonna last a little bit longer. So we'll have from the beginning. Alright, so as you can see in both those, I'm letting the, the second hit kind of ring out a little bit more, so. Alright, now we're going to do a gallop, so putting it together with the stuff from before. Alright, now we're going to do a, another gallop followed by downstroke, so we'll have... And then after that we have one more gallop and then some rest, so... Alright, now I'm gonna be putting the strokes for these in the tabs, so you can kind of like... Uh, think about it in that way, you know, like downstroke, rest, uh, down up, down up, and then a gallop, and you know, so on. You know, because that's kind of like how I go on about it to kind of remembering the rhythm. Alright, and like I said, I highly suggest you kind of slow it down and try to sync up to it as well. Alright, now after that, after the... There's gonna be a bit of rest and then we just have... There's gonna be four alternating uh, strokes and, uh, and then some rest and then again and then some rest and then again. So essentially we have, uh, have three uh, four strokes with rest in between. Alright, so to recap. All 
All right, now we're just gonna, you know, you just go on uh, back and repeat that over and over again. And in the last variation, essentially what we have is at the very end, you're only gonna do one uh, group of four alternating strokes rather than three. So the ending variation will just kind of go like this. That's pretty much that. You know, there is kind of like a little, a quick down and then up slide before we get reintroduced back into, I believe, uh, the post bridge riff which we talked about earlier on it's a variation of the intro so the guys that's pretty much the bridge just having a little bit of snow with some taps Alright guys, so we've enjoyed this lesson for the riffs from Nero Forte by Slipknot. Uh, we're going to be having a look at a couple more Slipknot songs in the next few weeks. There's going to be one coming out tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. And uh, if you have any requests, leave in the comments below and happy shredding.